Las Vegas, Nevada recently released its annual water quality report, and our water nerds dug through it so you don't have to. Make sure to comment below to suggest which city our water nerds should tackle next. Let's start with chromium-6. Chromium-6 is a highly toxic metal that is currently unregulated by the EPA. In recent years, Las Vegas has had a major problem with this dangerous contaminant. The most recent data found an average concentration of 0.2 parts per billion and detected levels reaching as high as 0.85 parts per billion. These levels are 42 times higher than the level determined to have a negligible impact on cancer risk. EPA has acknowledged that chromium-6 is a known human carcinogen through inhalation, but is still determining its cancer potential through ingestion of drinking water. Next is lead. Lead enters tap water through old lead service pipes and lead containing plumbing. 10% of sites that were tested for lead had concentrations over 2.6 parts per billion. The highest detected concentration was 7.5 parts per billion. Though currently in compliance with federal action level of 15 parts per billion, EPA, CDC, and American Academy of Pediatrics all recognize that there is no safe level of lead for children. Treated water leaving the plant may be in compliance with the loose EPA standards, but could become contaminated once it enters older infrastructure. Houses built before 1986 were most likely built with lead plumbing and lead fixtures. Lead exposure can cause developmental issues, lowered IQ, and damages to the kidneys and brain. Next is disinfection byproducts. According to this year's report, Las Vegas has had an elevated level of disinfection byproducts, or DBPs. Concentrations were detected as high as 33 parts per billion for haloacetic acids and 70 parts per billion for trihalomethanes in Las Vegas drinking water. Disinfection byproducts are a category of emerging contaminants, which means they have been detected in drinking water, but the risk to human health is unknown. Regulatory agencies have very little knowledge about the adverse health effects of DVPs and their toxicity. EPA has stated that they have been linked to an increased risk of bladder cancer, as well as kidney, liver, and central nervous system problems. Our water nerds on the lookout for other cities to cover. If you would like us to see what's going on in your hometown, please let us know and comment below. Also, if you have any questions about this report or anything else water related, drop us a line at hello at hydrovive.com or visit hydrovive.com and use our live chat. Our water nerds are based in Washington DC and can gladly answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.